today we're making a lovely summer shimmer body lotion. So this is a nice light body lotion that has some added gold and bronze micas to give it a wonderful summery shimmer. This is a debronzing lotion, it's not going to make you look like you have a tan, but it'll just help your skin glow a bit in the sunlight and just have a little bit of a shimmer. You can completely customize the amount of shimmer you want by just changing the amount of mica you use. And if you don't want to use gold or bronze, you could use copper or just gold or just bronze or sort of whatever mica you happen to have on hand. So it's wonderfully customizable as well. If you're familiar with making lotions, this one will come together in a snap. We've got our water part and our oil part. We'll heat them separately, combine them, and then blend them together until we have a nice, lovely, thick lotion. Then all that's left to do is stir in our preservative, our essential oils, and our shimmery micas to transform this lovely lotion into something that's perfect for summer. So come on, let's get started. We'll start by combining our water part. So in here I have 70 grams of just boiled water. This is two grams of vegetable glycerin. And this is three grams of raw honey. And you could just use another three grams of vegetable glycerin if you don't have honey or if you are vegan. Now we're going to mix together our oils. There's not a lot of them. So here we have seven grams of emulsifying wax NF. And you could use Pola wax, Reed Emulse, or BTMS 50 instead. And here we have 18 grams of safflower oil. You could use any relatively light, fast absorbing carrier oil that you have on hand, like jojoba oil or sweet almond oil or sunflower oil or apricot kernel oil. There's a lot of oils that you could use instead. So we're going to pop each part into, I've just got a saute pan here that has about an inch of water in it. So we're just gonna pop each part in here and I'm going to go put this on my stove over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and to bring everything up to temperature. This heat and hold method will help kill any bacteria that might be living in our water to give our lotion a longer shelf life. Half an hour later, our oils have melted through and our water is nice and warm. So we're going to pour the oils here into the water part. We can set that aside and we're going to remove this from the water bath and the water bath can be moved away and we're going to dry off the outside of the cup here and give this a little little stir to help get things moved along. Then we will grab our immersion blender and give this a couple quick blasts to get the emulsifying really going. You have to be careful to give pretty short blasts at this point in time because if you blend too enthusiastically you will rocket this hot lotion right out of your container. All right, we're going to leave this to cool for a while before coming back and giving it another blend and checking up on it. So. Fifteen minutes later, and this is starting to thicken up nicely. We'll give it a blend to get that those thicker bits to fully incorporate. It's looking a little, a little lumpy right now. I'm just picking the blender up and stamping it down the sides to kind of scrape down any bits that escape upwards. And let's tap that off, scrape it down. I think we're at the point where we can add our essential oils. Yeah, so it's, the measuring cup feels warm, but certainly not, not hot anymore. So we can start adding pigments as well, or our micas. All right, it's our lovely, nice, thick, whippy lotion. So let's grab our pigments. So I've got 
two micas here we'll be using. So we've got gold and bronze. So you could use really any sort of summery colored mica that you happen to have. So if you had uh, copper or if you just wanted to use gold or if you just wanted to use bronze, you absolutely could. But I'm going to use a blend of these two. So I've got my trusty little tiny measuring spoons here. So this is 1 8th of a teaspoon, 1 16th, 1 32nd, and 1 64th. These all have cutesy names, but the actual teaspoon measurement is significantly more helpful. So I'm going to start with a dash or 1 8th of a teaspoon of each. Now, because micas aren't nearly as potent as iron oxides, we're using quite a lot more than we would use if we were using iron oxides. And we're not as concerned about getting super precise measurements. So let's give this a good stir in. Make sure you're really thoroughly blending down and scraping out the corners in here. And then we'll do a little a little patch test so you can get an idea of what this will be like on your skin and we can decide if we want to add more mica or if we're happy with that level. So you can see that did not impart any color, which is very typical of micas. They are just, they're not very pigmented. And I'm looking for shimmer and I'm not really seeing the amount of shimmer that I would like from this lotion. So I'm going to add another scoop of each. Let's do another test. Use my other arm. Still not really seeing the level of shimmer I would like, so let's do another set. All right, I am happy with that level of shimmer. So we can put our micas away. And now it's time to blend in our preservative and our essential oils. So for our essential oils, I've got some eucalyptus essential oil and some lavender. So we're going to add four drops of lavender. and six drops of eucalyptus. Stir that in. And now we'll add our preservative. So that is half a gram of liquid germal plus. is really not very much at all, but will do a great job of protecting our lotion from gross bugs and fungus and mold. And now all that's left to do is to package it up. So I've got a little jar here grape away. I love these spatulas for getting every last drop of a product out of your measuring cup and into your container so you can use it and also it makes your messes so much easier to clean up. All right, there you go. You just made some summer shimmer body lotion. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for links to everything I used in this video. See you next time.